This is DVD Future Audio Video Reviews. The film we'll be reviewing is Old Dogs on Blu-ray. It's being released by Walt Disney Pictures. It's directed by Walt Becker, written by David Diamond and David Weissman. The film stars John Travolta, Robin Williams, Kelly Preston, Seth Green, Ella Blue Travolta, Lori Lawton, and Matt Dillon. The film follows two longtime buddies, Dan and Charlie, played by Robin Williams and John Travolta. Following a nasty divorce, Charlie takes Dan to Miami, where he gets drunk and accidentally marries Vicky, played by Kelly Preston. Several years later, he discovers he's a dad to two misfit twins. After learning that Vicky is about to be sent to jail for activism, Dan volunteers to take care of the kids. He also enlists the help of his good friend Charlie, who wants nothing to do with the situation. After all, he's a swinging bachelor. Of course, the film slips into the usual genre conventions with cliches and cheap setups abound. Old Dogs is a mercilessly unfunny film. It means well, but it's distracted by so many contrived elements and stupid subplots that it, it almost just doesn't work. The relationship between Travolta and Williams is, it just doesn't really make sense. Their friendship is never really developed. It's developed in the beginning through actually through a terrible Photoshop montage of where their heads are digitally superimposed over very obvious uh, photos from some somewhere else. Both actors are never really played to their strengths. Uh, Williams is just never funny in the film, and Travolta feels like he's just tired. He's more excited by the fact that half of his family is working on this film. Uh, the gags, some of them are just are some of them are just downright awful. Some of them are decent though. There's a spray tanning a bit towards the beginning, which plays on for a little too long, but it is fairly amusing. Uh, the drug mix-up about middle of the film uh, is also sort of funny, but it, it consumes so much time in the narrative that it, it drags down, essentially, the middle of the film. The setups are incredibly contrived. We've seen it all before. We know how it will end. We know how it begins. We, we know just about everything we'll see in this film. The comedic gags are, are very strange in that they, they basically play like beats in a trailer. You almost want to hear some sort of drum roll after every after every little gag or maybe a record scratch. Everything just everything just plays as though it's it's designed for a trailer rather than to entertain you. But the difference is that a trailer is designed to entice you and a film is designed to entertain you. Uh, and in this film, it just plays to the enticement rather than the entertainment, which just leaves a completely flat atmosphere that, that just, it just plagues the entire film. Thankfully, the film is loaded with just great supporting cameos. Uh, Dax Shepard is in the film. Uh, Louise Guzman, I hope I'm getting that right. Matt Dillon is absolutely hilarious. And, and the best, the saving grace of this film is Justin Long, who, who's only in the film for probably five minutes. But the five minutes he is in the film is, is a bright light in a very grim, dark, unfunny movie. To make matters worse, the film abruptly changes tones. Uh, all throughout the feature, it's doing this. At the beginning, it's sort of this uh, cute little wild hogs tag on where it's two men, old, living their lives. Then it sort of turns into dad needs to make good. He's been absent his, his kid's whole life and he needs to replace that time that they've lost. Then it switches to a camp feature. They're at camp for about 15 minutes. Then we're off to some sort of drugged out adventure. Their pills get uh, mis mixed up and Travolta ends up taking William's pills. Williams takes Travolta's pills and they both go on this weird, strange odyssey that consumes way too much time. Again, elements of it are funny, but it just it drags on for way, way too long. And the, the tone of it, it just doesn't feel like the tone of the camp scenes or the tone of the beginning. And in between there are these beats of just softness where Williams laments about not being a father, not being there for the kids. And of course, it gets even worse when we, we have the contrived element of, oh, the two main characters need to move to Japan and leave the kids behind. It, it just, it doesn't really make sense. It's, it's not all that appealing because we know exactly the outcome of that situation and the tone has shifted so many times that we don't even know what to really trust even though we know how it will end. This, it just leaves a completely uh, unsatisfying movie. Like I said at the beginning of the review though, uh, the movie's harmless. It's, it means well. It's just not particularly very funny. It's not particularly very smart. It's trying, but it never really succeeds. The film wants us to laugh, but we don't. It's just not well edited, it's not well written, and the performances feel stale. But that's because the movie is stale. There's nothing really all that intriguing about the film in general to, to attract the, the cast to do something new and exciting. I, I'm sure the film will have its fans, 
I do think the criticisms the film have gotten in the past were potentially a little bit unjustified. The movie's not a complete piece of trash. It's just not really all that great. It's one of those movies that is mediocre. It doesn't deserve to be as unfortunately mediocre as it is, but it gets trashed for being bad. It's not a bad movie. It's just an unfortunately mundane movie. For entertainment value, I'm going to give this one a C. Film value, I'm going to give it a C-. minus. Final grade, the film will get a C-. minus. Hopefully, if ever John Travolta and Robin Williams team up again, they'll team up in something a little bit smarter, a little bit wittier, and perhaps a little more original. They're both pretty good together. The movie just doesn't complement their strengths as performers. Be sure to check out part two of this review where I review the Blu-ray.